What new wartime adventures will the ladies of Bombshells be getting into? Let's find out together, shall we, as we dig on into the pages of Bombshells number 8. As the comic opens, we head back to Gotham for the first time since the very first issue. Kate Kane is there, about ready to ship out on her secret mission for Commander Waller, but before she goes, she wants to make sure the criminals of Gotham City stay good and scared. And nothing makes a person scarier than a Louisville slugger upside the head. It would seem that the legend of the Batwoman has grown far and wide indeed, so much to the point that Batwoman actually has herself a little fan who comes screaming down from the rafters. That fan is revealed to be none other than Harper Rowe. Harper Rowe, you will remember from the main DC Universe, being a character who was invented by Scott Snyder for the New 52. She stuck around for a bit, had some bit parts, but uh, importantly took on the identity of Bluebird and actually became a more integral member of the Batman family. It's interesting to see her here and now because Marguerite Bennett, the woman who writes this book, is also a student of Scott Snyder, so it's funny to see the characters show up here. I kind of like it. Now that Harper has caught wind about the fact that uh, Batwoman will be going away for a little bit, she takes a souvenir from the crime scene and brings it back to her friends at the garage. It seems they have themselves a little idea of what they should do while the Batwoman's away. You can only know that this is going to end well. I see this ending in costumes and a lot of criminals getting hit. With only one last romantic night to spend together before she gets shipped out, Kate and her girlfriend Maggie decide to do the town, the amusement parks, ice cream, more intimate actions at home that you can only imagine. The next day she even gets seen off uh, with a wave and some tears. It's very effective and very heart-tugging. Batwoman gets brought into Commander Waller's special task force, a group called Bombshell. Yeah, it's taken eight issues, but we now finally have the name of the book actually said within the book itself. Waller says that they are a special task force making use of one of America's greatest, most underappreciated resources. Those resources? Women. Also on the team, Big Barda and Dr. Light, uh, the female version, not the rapey version. The comic ends with Waller handing out the team their very first assignment. Their contact in occupied Europe is none other than an Italian heiress who makes a side live in stealing. Yep, that's right everyone, it's Selena Kyle the Catwoman. You know, just when I think Bombshells has reached the height of what it has to show me, an issue like number 8 comes along and completely changes everything. Now we have a team, a team with a name, we have a world that's been built up on every side of the war, be that on the American side, the Axis side, the Allies side. There's so much going on here, and just when I thought, you know, I had a grasp on the types of characters they would bring in and bombshell a size, they throw a crazy wrench in there. Now Harper Rowe is in here. I, I guess anyone can be in here now. The sky is the limit. Bombshells is quite simply one of the most interesting, most compelling, freshest feeling series to come along in a long time. It's proof positive about all the great stuff that can be done outside continuity and also proof positive of what can be done with DC Digital, something that I have sung the praises of nonstop and will continue to sing the praises of nonstop. Marguerite Bennett has really made this a book to read, a book that very well could have been a gimmick and could have well fallen by the wayside. Now it's one of my favorite things to read every week and I will happily continue to review every single issue. Uh, I give Bombshells number 8 a very deserved 9 out of 10. If you are not reading this, you should really, really start. I got a special Wonder Woman shirt just for this, so uh, uh, thanks to the shirt, thanks to the comic. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video.